Hi, in this quick tutorial, we'll leverage geometry nodes in Blender 3.1 to quickly create a crowd of animated characters. In this scene, I have one of my characters with two Mixamo animations combined in the NLA editor, and I have the whole character asset inside of a collection that we'll be instancing later on. What's great about this is that you can change anything within the collection and your instances will update without any fuss. I'll create a mesh primitive and it can be anything at all. Then with this object still selected, I'll head over to the geometry nodes tab and I'll start creating a mesh primitive node and use a grid. This object is now interpreted as this grid and this will serve as the emitter of our instance. Next, I'll create a collection info node and assign my character's collection. Now I'll need a way to instantiate this collection across my grid, so I'll use the instance on points node to do that. I'll plug my grid into the point socket and my collection info node to the instance socket. Now we have our character replicated along the available points on the grid, and I can change the grid parameters at any time to get the result I'm after. I want to randomize the position of my instances, so to do that, I'll add a set position node and connect the instance and points output to the geometry input of the set input node. I'll add in a random value node and change this field to vector. Since the blue socket on the set position node indicates that the position is working with the vector value. I'll plug the random value node to the position input on the set position node and change the min values. These are arbitrary values that worked for me in my tests, but you can drag along the value fields and look at the result on your viewport to get what you want. You can play with both the min and the max value fields. And now just like that, we have a crowd. Although I'd want to add an element of randomness to their movements and the cheapest way to do that is to simply duplicate the object with the geometry nodes and make a new copy of the node setup. Then duplicate the collection being instanced and assign the duplicate to the collection info node on our second set of geometry nodes. Now I'll select my duplicate character armature and I'll head over to the NLA editor and select my action clips. And then I'll move them back a bit. Now back in my duplicate geometry nodes object, I can play with some parameters to change the formation of my new crowd. From the 3D viewport, I can also move the object itself to quickly change its position. I can repeat this process as many times as I'd like to get as random an effect as I'd like. And that's how I got this result. I hope this was useful and that you're just as pleasantly surprised as I was to find that geometry nodes can work with animated rigged meshes. That's it. Thanks for watching and as always, happy rendering.